The I-25 is a commercial grade rotor from Hunter. We're gonna discuss a few of the features of this rotor. We'll also change out a nozzle and make some adjustments. I'm Dwayne Smith, your Sprinkler Warehouse Product Specialist. Let's get started. The I-2504 is a commercial grade rotor with a four inch pop-up height and a one inch inlet. It has a watering distance of 37 to 71 feet. If you're used to working with residential rotors, you'll recognize that this is a significant step up from residential watering distances. The distance you get out of the rotor depends on which nozzle you've installed and how the adjustment screw is set. This rotor has a flow rate of between 3.8 gallons per minute all the way to 31 and a half gallons per minute. Once again, that is a significant step up from standard residential rotors. It has a non-strippable drive, which means if someone turns the turret, it will not mess up the gears. That means a longer lasting, more resilient rotor. The I-25 also has automatic arc return. If the rotors turn past its arc setting, the rotor will return to its arc setting. This prevents wasting water and prevents having to reset the pattern. I-25s also conveniently have both part and full circle arc patterns in one rotor. That is, when you adjust the rotor to turn 360 degrees, it will do so in a continuous non-reversing pattern. That means more even watering coverage. The arc is adjustable from 50 to 360 degrees. The I-25 series come with a check valve standard. Check valves prevent low head drainage. That is, when a zone of your irrigation system has a slope, a check valve will prevent water from draining from your system through the lowest sprinkler head once the zone shuts off. This will help to prevent water wastage, pooling, and erosion. The check valve on an I-25 rotor works with up to 10 feet of elevation difference. This rotor comes with this set of nozzles. There are additional nozzles also available for this rotor. Let's talk about the various adjustments. Looking at the top of the rotor, this is where you set your range adjustment screw. That screw also holds the nozzle in place. Use the metal end of the rotor tool to adjust that. This is the lifting socket right here. Use the plastic end of the rotor tool for that. And this is the arc adjustment slot. Once again, you're gonna use the plastic end of the rotor tool for that. Let's head outside and make some adjustments. Insert the plastic end of the Hunter rotor tool into the lifting socket, turn, and pull up. You can hold the rotor up with your hand, but if you have a nozzle insertion collar, it makes changing out a nozzle much easier. Back out the range adjustment screw using the metal end of the rotor tool. Pull out the nozzle using a pair of needle nose pliers. Insert the new nozzle. It goes in at a slightly downward angle. Screw back down the range adjustment screw. Notice how straight the stream of water is. It needs to be diffused a little bit for more even coverage, so we'll thread down the screw a little further. Use that same range adjustment screw to decrease the range as necessary. You can check the pattern, also known as the arc, by turning the turret back and forth. Use the plastic end of the rotor tool in the arc adjustment slot to set the pattern. Clockwise increases the pattern, counterclockwise decreases the pattern. The I-25 is a reliable, efficient rotor that will do you a great job on your next commercial project. There are other versions of the I-25 available as well, including six inch versions and versions with stainless steel risers. Pick up some today on sprinklerwarehouse.com. Remember, Sprinkler Warehouse has everything you need to make your trees, lawn, flower beds, and gardens lush and beautiful. Questions? Chat with one of our incredible customer service agents on sprinklerwarehouse.com. They really do know their stuff and they'll get you squared away. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for helpful tips, tutorials, and general sprinkler instruction. Sprinkler Warehouse, America's most shop sprinkler store.